Well, while most areas are now preparing for a lot of rainwater, Frankton is actually running dry. Lightning strikes zap the town's water tower as well as the filtering system, and that had to force the schools to close because, of course, no working bathrooms. Even the fire hydrants don't work. Tonight at 6.03, our own Rich Van Wyk found repair crews very hard at work and residents trying to make the best of it. There's water in the streets, water running down the drains. There's water across the street in the field. <laughs> There's water everywhere. Everywhere but where Frankton needs it. The faucets and toilets are dry. Lightning hit the town's water tower twice this morning, breaking open a water main, killing the power, frying some of the water processing plant's control systems. It's more than we can handle on our own. Town councilwoman Vicki Hart. We've got crews coming in from everywhere trying to help us get this taken care of. Frankton schools closed. If there's a fire, water will have to be trucked in from neighboring communities. Although there's no coffee. Frankton's only gas station rushed to install a couple of portalettes out back. Uh, with no flushing toilets, these are a huge relief. Outside Joy Knott's home, we found pots filling up with rainwater, soon to be toilet water. Have you been able to collect enough water to keep up with the toilet? Yes, it's just me and my husband here, so yeah. Although repair crews are making progress, there is so much damage. To get the whole thing fixed, it will not be done in just one day. The best hope is to get water flowing yet tonight by having workers run the system manually until the automatic systems can be repaired. A town drenched in rainwater is eager for running water. Rich Van White, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.